Yeah. The thing about Bitcoin right now, though, is I do think it's established itself as uh, it, it's proven itself as being something to reckon with. Even those people like you and me who have been looking at this out on the sidelines, you see bit, what, what's happened to Bitcoin since 2018. Do you remember the last spike 2018? We hit that 20,000 level. It went live on the CME exchange. And the moment it went on CME, we pretty much sold off solidly. Um, there you got it. Yeah, from December 2018. So from 20,000 all the way down to 4,000, then rally through in 2019 and 2020, just hitting a low in March there about 4,000. I actually think this is really healthy for Bitcoin. I think this has yeah. formed a healthy pattern, a healthy base. It's a W formation that you've got there. But now we've been tested. We see the thing with the first rally in Bitcoin, it's almost like the first rally in dot com stocks. It's like the first rally in any new technology. Right. People don't know what it is yet. So it's very quickly for value to dissipate and be exaggerated on both sides. But but now I actually feel pretty confident in Bitcoin. I, I've not been involved in, in so long. People who have done the Amplified Trading Program, they have become Bitcoin whales. I have one trader who joined us in 2015 and he mine, he's got miners all over Hong Kong, actually just on the other border from Hong Kong because the, the cheaper costs in mainland China. But um, he's been fully involved and they, you know, everyone in Bitcoin has had a really tough couple of years, really, because a lot of those deep believers have been holding on since the 20,000. You know, I know lots of students who have been involved in Bitcoin who were looking at huge amounts of money in 2018 and, and it just all went away. You know, they weren't able to take the trade off because they had a deep belief in this asset. It was a belief trade rather than, if you like, um, a thought process of a trade. But now the fact that we've beaten out a bottom around that 4,000 mark, this becomes a much more psychologically interesting product for me. And, and also we had that sell off. If you go back to the 25th of November, go a bit shorter to the 25th of November, because we were tearing higher around the 19,000 level. Uh, yeah, just go back a little bit further. We were tearing higher. And then I don't know if you saw, but one of the exchanges, um, it was OKE, so OK Exchange. Um, they, uh, they, they, they had a few security issues. So they were holding a lot of uh, Bitcoin, um, not letting it get out. And you can see, actually, if you go back then to, uh, oh, is that, the, that's 25th, uh, 26th of, uh, sorry, November. Yeah, November. Uh, so this big red candle here. So do you see that big red candle? Yeah. So what's really interesting about this is in the run up to that big red candle, everyone's getting super excited about Bitcoin. And in fact, the day before that big sell off, all of the news articles are out there saying Bitcoin 20,000, everybody's getting into Bitcoin. And then the OT, OKX um, allowed people to withdraw their Bitcoin. And we had the biggest outflow, that huge red candle. I actually put a tiny amount long on that red candle only because, you know, this that red candle was a unique event, you know, and the fact that the OK Exchange has allowed, you know, that was actually a positive thing for Bitcoin, if you like. It's a positive thing for the system that it, it, it's working um, and that it's more stable than it was before that announcement. So I think that was a really interesting moment in time. And I was following a few people in Twitter and someone I was following was saying, look, the last time I was this sure about anything, oil was trading at minus $40. dollars And I think that mm. leading up to that sell-off, we had such a strong rally. And now we've recovered from that. And I just, I really like the technical formation on this. I like the fact that it, Bitcoin's beat out the bottom. Yeah. Um, and and I, I believe this. I haven't, I haven't been involved in Bitcoin for this whole story. Everyone's been telling me for years you know, you're missing out, you must have been involved, but I, I didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, now we've beaten out this bottom, we've beaten out this pattern over the last couple of years. I really do feel comfortable with it. And I really do think in this environment, when you're getting, you know, IPOs double on the first day, you know, it used to be that Bitcoin was, oh, this is a crazy valuation, right? But Airbnb had a target of 40 to 60, and then IPO at 150. So, I mean, it, what is valuation now? And, and, and if, we're talking about you know stocks and shares moving away from their fundamental valuations then now i think that's where bitcoin can can play quite a nice uh, play quite a nice game for heading into the new year going into 2021 i think now we're through 20,000 my view is and i'm not i can't believe i'm saying this as someone who hasn't been who's always been one of the naysayers um but but i'm interested
I'm interested and I think this is it, it's proven itself it's had to go through this journey of the last couple of years to actually win the respect of longer term traders like myself who have been skeptical um, before it had sort of been through this this battle zone. So let me ask you, if, so you sound, you sound excited, you sound interested, how are you going to affect, how, how are you going to get into this market? How are you going to go outright futures? Are you going to buy yeah. underlying? Are you going to do options? Are you going to buy ETFs? Um, talk to us a little bit about how you're yeah no it's a really it's a really good play I mean at the moment the small one I I, I have is an outright future but a, a divided contract on that um, I th actually think options is a really nice way to to, to play this especially mm -hmm. now we're around this twenty thousand level because now we're above that twenty thousand could we go to twenty five thirty sure right it, it 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 doesn't matter so you could probably get some quite cheap options out there for for some quite far out prices I can't I don't know. You know, the only thing to me that would really stop this movement now would be uh, security, would be something, you know, like a, a fraud. Uh, and all, obviously, you can't you can't manage that. You know, you can't, that, that's a risk that I think you have to take um, in this one. But yes, have you got the, is, are these options coming up now? These, these, yeah, you're, what you're looking at is the options chain on Bitcoin futures. I have never seen options this expensive in my entire life. Well, it's the volatility, isn't it? Right. I mean, uh, the person selling you that option is going to be a little bit grave. On the uh, on, like, let's just go out to say Jan twenty one. Okay, I mean, that's that's quite a, a close uh, strike uh, date. But I mean, let's just say, what are we trading twenty seven one five? So let's well, just taking it at the money here. Um, if we want to uh, essentially buy one of these bad boys um okay so this call isn't tradable you um, might have to go a bit yeah. well let's yeah, go ahead to april. april at the money well i'm actually not getting quotes on this right now so let's see no i'm not getting any quotes actually okay on... go to march go to feb let's have a look at those options um, no oh here we go, no, here we go. They're, they're so far out um all right try 29 no not i'm um, not getting trades on this but essentially you, you're, you're gonna have to shell out two and a half uh well 2800 uh dollars um per option so so that's going to be about 28 grand to get one option yeah um, so um you know that's a spicy meatball that's uh, that, that 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 starts not being an option <laughs> starts, yeah, exactly exactly it starts it's... being an outright um but look super interesting and i just wanted to, to jump on this with you i think this is one to watch i think you're going to see this a lot in the news tomorrow i know how the behavior of these markets work it becomes self-fulfilling um i think i really like the fact we had the okay exchange sell-off and we rebounded you know really strongly um watch this space I think it's interesting. If you haven't traded on, on Bitcoin before, don't now just, just jump in, just watch it. Just watch how it moves for a while. And if you do believe that above 20, then we're going to move higher, then you can use 20 as a nice stop, right? And, and, and do it in the kind of size where it doesn't really matter. Well, whilst you're learning, if you get stopped, it, 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 it's fine. So um, one of the I'm instruments fine. that I would use in order to feel comfortable about buying something elevated is to essentially go out to the monthly bars all time, right? And use a Fibonacci extension tool. And this kind of shows me the general flow. So what you do with a Fibonacci extension tool, right? Is you take, if you're, if you're projecting higher prices, you take from the latest swing low to swing high and where the pullback occurs. And this gives you a framework of operation on the trade. Now, essentially, if I go down to like a year, one year, one day, you can see where your pullback came into play. This was actually the 113.8% extension. Okay, so where were you when this happened? I, I, we needed this information. Well, you could have picked up the phone. Could have picked up the phone. That's uh, no, that's that's got it spot on. Really, really that's nice. And and look and look at the reaction after testing that. Honestly, Absolutely. so you see this play out in lots of markets. And so the good news is, if you want to get long this contract. The upper extension targets pretty much always come true. So we're looking at, if I was long this contract now, I'd be projecting 21,676, 32,471. 
an ultimate upside on this extension is 49938. Yeah, well, then, then it really will be in the news. And uh, with my tiny contract on, I'll, uh, I'll even I'll be celebrating after that. Um, but listen, good to catch up with you, Tim. I just wanted to give everyone a quick uh, update what was going on in Bitcoin. It's been a really interesting pattern over the last few weeks. Um, I Longer term now, I'm liking the way it's formed. I think it's, it's one to watch. Keep it on your screens. Um, if you really want to study behavior, this is a really good behavioral asset to really focus on momentum moves. Um, and if you are going to trade it, super small, super careful, um, and use it as a learning process. If it works out, great. Um, but the one type of person I know who has suffered over the last couple of years are those Bitcoin believers that, that, that can't let it go. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. Take it off. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for the catch-up. All right.